Hello test, welcome guys to another video. Today I would like to take a closer look at the Captain Falcon break the target targets world record. I was just curious on the phone browsing for videos and then I was like what's the current world record even look like and then I found this. This video came out one month ago. Oh you guys can see it because of the overlay. Here, it came out one month ago and we're gonna take a look at this we're gonna break it down and then i will you know try it out myself um only issues is that these kind of records are usually on vanilla iso or vanilla yeah iso and on oem as far as i know and i'm playing on keyboard so we have to set the keyboard world record but let's take a look at this actually and see what it looks like let me fix the overlay all right. Bro, I love the pathing. The pathing is genius. I think you can even up it here. I'm not sure. Okay, this just no impact land. Double jump, like wall jump, wall jump. Up air, full drift back, fast for an air. That's very... This is fucking insanely hard. So this part is doable, this is just no impact land, wall jump, wall jump. It's hard to drift so perfectly that you don't touch that platform. This first difficult part, or like the, the left, the right section is very difficult. And this is hard because you have to do a sort of like a dashback short up without, f you will easily miss or mess that part up, like a fall down, not get the full momentum to the left. Oh, this, this part is insanely difficult and this part is also fucking hard when i tried it back then i remember i couldn't get this part with the back air i think there was a touch run with up air here but i'm not sure and this is the old passing that i remember is that you knee under that platform and then land on the left side this is an interesting strategy. Full hop, near forward drift over that, fast fall, air comes. Wow, that is so tight. That is so, these kind of full momentum jumps when you land here, insanely difficult. Up air, up air. And I think there's also one strategy with like weak knee, double jump, wall jump up air maybe. So, I would say doable, 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 doable. It will take me a lot of tries to get this. It will take me a lot of tries to get this. And then this. Bro, I feel, I'm going to be honest. It has like two or three very insanely hard parts. But I feel like it's doable. At least on the keyboard. <laughs> I would need to order an OEM if I, if I want to really test it out on OEM, right? Because you don't have a C stick there. It's huge uh, difference. Let me fix that overlay real quick. All right. So let's just give it some tries and see how it goes. So first of all is that that no impact land part, right? It's just timing. Like that. That was perfect. Okay. This is just timing. If you get the good timing here, we have this. Then you do this, this with up air, near drift back. I told you it's hard not to land on that plot. And then you need to perfectly get this with it. Well, let's, let's see, let's see. It's difficult. It's difficult actually. I want to test something out with the up air here. I see, I see. I'm just trying to figure out which one is faster. Ah, that was very close actually. So we will get the right part once at least. One eternity later. Alright, so we're gonna categorize uh, that, uh, that whole run. 
into small sections so I can like try to demonstrate it for the video. So the first part is obviously this one, right? With a perfect no impact land. So after we get uh, this one, now we're gonna try to get the wall jump part. And so we have like some sort of demonstration for the video. That was without fast forward. Like that. But I don't think I fast forward. One more try, please. Oops. Like that. And I think yeah, it can even drift while falling to the right with the nail. So you have more space on the dashback momentum. So. That was almost perfect. I wanna get one perfect one. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> like that, okay? And yeah, this is let's let's try to get that now at least. So let's say we land here, alright? Like that, okay? And now after we like if I keep, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, I will get the right part, part eventually. And here um, we have this part. So let's take a look at this part. We will. I will probably replace that back air with an up air. So this is very, very difficult and it's so tight to get this one. But you can just do an up air. Oops, so let's see. We can just do an up air. So we will probably replace replace the back air with an upper here but I could also go for the back I don't think that makes a huge difference I think it's like the same but the upper is way easier to hit so so let's say we land somewhere here right and now um, I tested it out a little bit and I came to another conclusion so if we do the full up now it's very 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 hard obviously but I'm gonna show you so it's also here I could try to fast fall and instead of landing here I could try to land here and then I do this right but I figured something else out what if we instead of we do this and then this and then oops after we get this now ah, it's very difficult now to get whatever so we can actually try to to not land here we can try to land at the very end and teeter I, I will show you I, it doesn't matter if we hit it right now but I want to demonstrate so let me drift more forward for that uh, Tita thing bruh I told you these kind of jumps when you don't have much space on the platform they're just so so tight and so difficult what's the waste music on okay so now, now check this out I can land like this and now what's interesting is I think it's a frame perfect input, but I can jump and if I hold left to the on the first possible frame up there, I will hit both. Like this. Wait, I got it. So the idea is to actually recreate this whole run with this strategy. And then I don't know how long it will take me. I, I will probably stream today. And then just keep trying. And then this and then this and then this. You you get the idea, right? And then after this. Landing with the teeter thing and then <sighs> this. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this breakdown. This video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also comment if you would like to see me. As I said, I will probably stream today and just try to get the record. I know it's on keyboard or on a digital controller and it won't be the official world record because OAM and Vanilla Melee, but we will have the keyboard record or the digital controller record, guys. Have a nice day and take care as always. Bye.